Este video se enfoca en temas físicos y mecánicos del brazo y las manos con relación al diapasón de la guitarra y son el resultado de más de dos décadas de observación. El objetivo de este video es difundir esta información y ayudar a aquellos guitarristas que lo encuentren útil. Los temas interpretativos y estéticos son tratados en otros videos. By studying the way the left hand moves along the fingerboard of the guitar, we found that there are many things to consider. To begin with, there are several muscles involved in the different combinations of movements. These can be reduced to four main ones, abduction, adduction, internal rotation and external rotation. These combine to interact with the force of gravity, inertia and air density. If we try to execute these two notes exactly as they are written, we will find that it is physically impossible to do so, and in the end we will end up including a time delay and instead executing something of this order. This of course is not wrong, it's just the way evolution in guitar playing has dealt with limitations of physics. Let's see why it is impossible to accurately execute these notes. The duration of the first note is assumed to go to the beginning of the next one. The human arm weights the approximate equivalent of 6.5% of the human body. That is to say that for a body that weights 70 kilograms, the arm will have a weight of 4.5 kilograms. Then we have to overcome inertia, which is essentially the tendency of a motionless body to continue that way and if it is moving, to continue moving. The faster we want to move the arm, the more difficult it is to overcome inertia, and to do so, it is necessary to apply more force to the muscles. Motion phases. The movement of the arm parallel to the fingerboard can be divided into three phases. The first phase is the start. It is the moment where force is applied to the arm so that it can move. The second phase is the displacement itself, where the arm gains momentum and moves easily. The third phase is breaking, where you have to apply a force that opposes the momentum gained by the arm. In this slow motion video we can see how the muscle stands, mainly the latissimus dorsi, even before the arm begins to move. When the hand reaches the point where we need it, we require a similar and opposite force to stop the arm. In slow motion, we can see how all the energy that the arm brings when stopping it is transmitted to the entire upper part of the body, generating waves of motion that last less than a quarter of a second. In addition to all this, we should take into account that we must also overcome the friction of the air that is in the direction of displacement. The higher the speed of movement, the greater the air resistance. Here, the deformation of the air is observed when the arm moves. The higher the speed, the stronger the turbulence generated due to the displaced air. These three elements, gravity, inertia and the density of the air, oppose a fast and perfect movement, which increases the possibility of imprecision. An exercise never replaces the direct practice of the musical pieces. With physical conditioning, what we do is create and maintain a baseline that helps us to master the music pieces more easily, save many hours of practice, and maintain a stable technical level at all times, even when we are not preparing for a concert, a tour, or a recording. Physical training on the guitar. The exercise begins in first position, zero, one, three, moves to fret 10, digits 1, 3, 1, return to first position, again 3, 1, 0, goes to the second string, digits 3, 1, 0, 1, 3, and moves to fret 10, repeating the sequence. This is what the exercise looks like. Thank <laughs> you. 
The question arises, why not summarize the exercise even more and jump from one position to the other directly? This would very quickly create excessive tension and even pain in the mid-deltoid muscle fibers, mainly at the point where they insert into the humerus. The scale segments executed between each jump are wave resting and creating a context giving the feeling of continuity between the scales and the jump. Este ejercicio ha demostrado su eficacia en obras que exigen mucho desplazamiento. Esperamos que sea útil a quien quiera ponerlo en práctica. Thank you.